In this video, we are going to remove, properly clean and lubricate and install the throttle cable on the Suzuki Samurai. Hi, I'm Francois from AdventureBikeTroop.com and in this video we're back on four wheels again with the Suzuki Samurai. Um, the throttle is sticking, it's quite hard to press down, there's a lot of resistance. I wanted to order a new one and then the guy who wanted to sell it to me said it's not going to, um, it's probably just needs some cleaning. The, the car doesn't have a lot of kilometers on, it's about 100,000 miles. So the throttle cable is probably still fine, it's just dirty. So we are going to remove it now clean it out with WD-40, lube it with oil and put it back in the car. Let's have a look at the throttle cable. So I wanted to replace the cable because this pedal is super sticky. So if I press on this, you can see that's how far it goes, but it's not even pulling on the carburetor at all. So if you wanted to press it all the way to the floor, you really have to flex your foot muscles. So I'm going to remove the cable and clean it out. So I did want to order a replacement and then I spoke to a friendly guy that specializes in Suzuki's and he said no, it's probably just a dirty cable. Um, if it hasn't snapped, don't replace it. So we're going to see if I can clean it out with WD-40, lube it again um, and hopefully it's going to ride or drive better then. Because currently you really have to, to give it everything you've got with your right foot and then it, it sort of moves. <laughs> So let's see. And this, this Suzuki stood for quite a number of years. Um, I bought it from my dad and he really looked after it. You can see how clean it is, but it didn't drive every day. Um, so yeah, so let's see what we can do. Okay, so the first thing is to remove this lock nut, so number 12, 12 millimeter on the carburetor. And here we go. And then unhook it here from the end. Oh, one hand, that's actually easier than I thought. And then just to remember how it is located. So ideally you would want to uh, place the new cable next to it so that you don't lose track of where it runs. But this is actually, it just goes straight from the carburetor all the way to uh, the, the firewall where it goes in. So I'm just going to press in this cable to get some slack on the other end it's actually very simple you just pull on it <laughs> that was easy enough so one of the best things about these Suzuki's is how simple they are so if you haven't checked out the video on my five things that I love about the Suzuki Samurai go and check out this video somewhere up here um, and this is one of those things it's just super simple to work on I mean with one hand the other hand filming I managed to get the throttle cable out <laughs> Uh, you can't get any simpler than that. I'm not sure what it looks like underneath there. That's the one problem. Because I don't want to just yank on it. It's right under the brace brake booster. So I'm not sure if there's something holding it in place. So if this works, this must be one of the simplest jobs I've ever done. <laughs> um, famous last word. But anyways, you can see this is the total length of the throttle cable it's just i mean look at that and the reason why i couldn't get it out is this little clip here at the end so i just looked on the inside um, usually a very good tip is if you struggle with something just take your time and figure out what it looks like at the other end so if you just press those four little tabs in and it just pops out uh, to the engine side Anyways, now we're going to lube this up with WD-40 and see if we can get it working. There is some resistance. If I pull on it like that, so I'm going to clean it out and, and then we'll see. Just to make sure I'm not missing something, I just want to check, I'm just want to check the spring and you can see how easy it should uh, move. So this is what it should feel like as you tug on uh, the throttle cable. Okay, so clamped it here in the vise there's the old KTM 250HC that we're building there's a playlist for this up here somewhere um, and I found the fork seal so we can actually get going again this weekend but anyways more on that later so we're going to lube this with uh, WD-40 
any lube should probably do but someone said to use WD-40 because it's cleaner than other stuff like Q20 or uh, yeah, I don't know some of the more synthetic stuff I think I don't know comment below if you know <laughs> okay so the idea is to just spray it in there whoops then move this up and down up and down until it moves freely I can s already see there's no damage to the cables and uh, it doesn't look frayed at either of the ends um, you can see the the lube goes in there as you move it up and down so I'm just going to keep doing that until it feels like a new cable and then drip some uh, oil in there you can see it's coming out uh, well I'm going to wait until it comes out at the other end but there's no fraying and the chances of it being um, frayed on the inside is super slim so but I can feel there's a lot of resistance Okay, so I'm going to keep working it and then I'll show you at the end what it looks like. Okay, so check the gunk that's coming out here at the bottom. I don't know if you can see it on the... It's dripping out, but look at that. Oh, that's nasty stuff. It looks like mud that's dripping out. So I'm just going to keep going. And... I can already see it's it's feeling much much better look at that okay much better now we're gonna just lube it with some of this all-purpose oil whoops that's a lot it's already coming out at the bottom I don't think I have to pour the whole bottle in, just a drop or two. And then wipe it all down and put it back in. Okay, now that everything's clean, I think the trick is going to be to try to locate the hole for the throttle cable because it's under the brake booster there. So I'm not going to be able to film that, um, but I'm going to try to to feel and stick that cable through there and then clip it back in. Um, and then we'll film the top bit where I set the, the tension. I had to stick a screwdriver in from this side and then feel it from the other side um, and I managed to get it through. Um, you won't probably be able to see it but I broke off one of those four little tabs and I, I could feel it when I pressed it from this side to go in that way but, but these little clips always get brittle so uh, I'll probably just order another throttle cable and keep it with me but this one is in there um, and now just on the other side we have to fit it back so we'll first to see that it's rooted properly and it is hook it back onto the carburetor linkage um, I'll probably need both hands this time so just hang in there like so and then, okay, needs to go under this pipe. Okay, got it hooked in, and then fit it there. Now we have to adjust the tension, and according to the manual, it says one and a half centimeters, or yeah, one to one and a half centimeters, or ten to fifteen millimeters of deflection in the middle there. On the cable so if you press it that way this is how much it should move if the engine is cold so if it's hot then I think it's three to five millimeters so see if I can set it and then we'll take it for a test drive when diagnosing problems like this it's always easy to make an assumption or jump to conclusions so there is another possibility and that is that the throttle linkage is just um, stuck and I actually didn't check that so it's already back in there but I just to be sure I am gonna I can pull it if I pull it with my f just with my finger like this I can feel there is a bit of tension and um, it's not super bad but I'm just gonna spray it with carb cleaner and um, just to make sure to, to to if there's any dirt in there and then we'll take it for a test drive and see see what happens
Okay, moment of truth. Let's just check what it feels like. Wow, that's already a whole lot better. I also feel like there's a bigger range of motion because I set the tension on the carburetor. So let's take it for a spin and see how it feels. Okay, let's see if it worked. Um, I can already feel when I step on it, it's much lighter than it was before. Um, and it was so difficult to actually modulate the, the throttle pedal. Whew, it's humid. <laughs> ah, it feels like a new car. That is insane. Let's see when I stop here at the, the stop street and pull away again. But for now, there's so much more range of motion. So I think I'll actually have a, a higher top speed now. <laughs> Anyways, let's see if I, when I pull away here. Uh, oh, it's so much nicer. Anyways, that worked. Thank you for joining. Um, and if you want to see more on the Suzuki, please comment and subscribe. I promise there are going to be more bike stuff. Um, anyways, thanks for watching. See you next time. Cheerio.